Focus on the cross where the price was paid. The book of Acts of the Apostles, chapter 4 and verse 30 says, and I quote, Stretch forth your right hand to heal, to deliver, and to bless. And for this to be actualized in your life, this right hand has to be turned into the right hand of God, which is power. I'm here to let you know by faith and by the authority in the name of Jesus Christ, this right hand is no longer yours. Listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. By the authority in the name of Jesus Christ, by faith, this right hand is no longer yours. Elohim! Raise your right hand up, raise it 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 up. The mighty God that lives in us wants to turn this hand to his right hand. After living here, it can become your own right hand. But as long as you are here, under this atmosphere of the Holy Ghost, listen to me. This right hand is no longer yours. Votre main droite Elohim! 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 Focus on Jesus' life now. Elohim, the mighty God that lives in us, wants to turn your right hand into his right hand. Focus on Jesus Christ right now. Picture him on the cross. Look at him on the cross. How much pain he suffered. How much he suffered to redeem you and to turn your right hand into his right hand right now, right now, right now, right now. Shout Elohim! Elohim. The right hand of God is power. Shout Elohim! Kai! The right hand of God is power. Shout Elohim! Shout Elohim! Shout Elohim! Shout Elohim! Kai! The right hand of God is power. 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 Let's go so the right hand of God is touching every soul here. So right now, the screen. right now, right now, this right hand is no longer yours. Please bless it anyway you have pain. Bless it, 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 bless it. President, hey, 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 hey. My name is Alade Timi Oyindamola. The person sitting beside me is my mother in law, and the person standing is my husband. So we are here to testify to what God has done for I and my family. So we just relocated to Abuja, I and my husband, and I was pregnant. So we, we have been looking for a church to attend. Though my mother-in-law, they are a member of Synagogue Church of All Nations, and we went to, we have been to various churches, and my husband would be like, he doesn't like the service there. So... On that morning, Sunday morning, that uh, 22nd of May, he woke me up and said, let's go to church. We are, I said, which church are we going to? He said, we are going to Elohim Church, where is my Daniel Church. I said, do you know the place? He said, no. He said, he will Google it. Then he Googled it. Then we drove down to the church. Though my pregnancy is overdue, 
and we have been praying God for God. And the doctor said, if I didn't deliver before the next Atlanta day, I'll be going for a CS, which we don't want. And during the mass prayer, we, went, we came in as a first time man, and the man of God touched us. Then we, during the mass prayer, we were asked to raise up our hand and shout Elohim. That was when I felt, and immediately I know the chain has been broken. So we received the faith items. So the next Monday, it was Antinata Day, and I ministered the faith items to myself and to my tummy. And immediately I went to the toilet, I vomited. And I came back to the sitting room, my husband was waiting for me then. And I told him I vomited something and it's not this pregnancy vomit because when I vomit during pregnancy, it's something I eat, food. But this, this was totally different. And he said, we know God has done it. So I went to my, I went for Antinata that Monday morning, the, the Monday. Then after the Antinata, I came back home, I took a nap. It was during, during that nap, this sharp pain woke me up. And because this was my first child, I have to Google it, sharp pain below my tummy. And the Google said it was contraction, the baby is coming. I was so excited, I didn't want to call my husband. I want to be very sure. I keep the time. And when I know it's close, I called him from work. I said, it seems the baby is coming, and he rushed down home. And to God be glory, we deliver safety. Clap for Jesus Christ. That is God for you. Elohim is here. Shout Elohim. Place it there. And that is it. You saw her on the floor? That was when God was busy rearranging the baby, repositioning the baby in the womb. Yes. And uh, I have a message for the baby. Please, for one year, don't cut the hair. Okay? For one year, don't cut the hair. At the age of five, you will start seeing the behavior of an elderly woman in the life of this child. How do I mean? She will be acting above her age. He's not a baby. Spiritually, he's older than you. <laughs> I want to assure you that. You know, well, you know, I don't know. You know the hair coiled. Eh? We have to go and buy original Johnson baby oil. They said that the one we bought maybe is fake, that we should buy the US one, that that one is original, that would distangle the hair. Clap for Jesus Christ. <laughs> hair was coiled. It's a promised child. It's a promised child. Have you given the name? Yes, Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Help us with that song. This is a promised child. Emmanuel, your name is God. Your name is God. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Emmanuel has come. Congratulations. I knew it was difficult to, to make the hair because yes. it was coiled. Yes. Please. Even my mother-in-law said we should be putting the hair on this every two, two hours, maybe to the sandwich. That is not because of that. This baby is older than everybody here. Among the circle spiritually, is not an ordinary child. It's not an ordinary child. For one year, please don't touch the hair. Don't cut it. After one year, I'll be happy if you can call me. So that I will tap from the grace. Please, can I carry this baby? Because it's a gift, it's a gift from above.
Wish you can see what I'm looking at. I repeat, this is a message from God. Don't cut the hair until after one year. After one year, you can do that. Two, God will give you other children because the passage is open. But if possible, discipline this child more than any other because of the grace he's carrying. Spare the rod and spoil the child. It's applicable to this baby. Yeah. We have started seeing symptoms because whenever I want to bait, if he said he doesn't want to bait, he will, he will start crying. If I should give him breast milk, he will stop crying and he wouldn't take the breast. But immediately I gave it to my mother-in-law to bat him, he will start crying again. We start, we, I and my husband, we were very angry yesterday because we, we were saying he, he wants he want everybody to want what he wants. If he doesn't want to take medicine, he won't take it. Mark age of five. He start behaving like you'll be surprised. Is he, is he an old man? Why is he sometimes when, when he start getting to 10 15, he'll be asking you questions. You'll be surprised. Stop. Why are you asking that kind of question? Questions, oh, you know, mature person can ask. Behavior will be matured. Please, <laughs> when he misbehaves, smack him more than any other child you have. Don't give room. You're not the parents, this baby. I'm the husband, I'm the dad. I say you are not the parents. Okay, sir. <laughs> you okay. are a foster. You are a caretaker. Okay. You, can't, you can't have this child. You know the child you are carrying? Ha. I will ask God for the grace within this week for you to have a dream. Please, monitor. God should show you who this child is. Let me give you one instance. The hair is touching the ground and it's dreadlock. Dreadlock. And there's a bald head at the center of this person you are carrying. Who is that person? God is great. So please, please do me a favor. If when he starts growing up, five years, six years, seven years, he will start doing some things which is not okay. Smack him, but don't touch his head. Smack the butters. Take him, show him this thing you did is not okay. Let him cry, then you leave him so that you can guide for this promise. It's a world changer. Congratulations. I don't know why you, what, what have you done to defeat this? You don't, know, you don't know who you are carrying. I pray God will allow you to know. But promise me, you will discipline this child more than any other child. I promise. Sir. Because promised children, you know why I'm worried about that? Satan hits them faster because of what they are seeing in them. He wants them to start misbehaving, smoking, drinking, misbehaving. Some of you that are misbehaving today, if you go to a prophet, they'll tell you you were supposed to be this or supposed to be that. Satan wants to destroy them quick, 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 quick. That's why I can never, I don't joke with especially my mom. My dad too was a Canadian, but my mom, I don't joke with her. You know why? There was a day I came from school, I will never forget. I was at the age of six, seven. You know, you little children, when you go to classroom, you see some pen, you go with one pen, you come back with ten pen. That is stealing, isn't it? I know I had one pen. I never knew that my mom, she's a retired grade two teacher. You know, grade two teacher of this, not teachers of these days. They collect bribe and tell you, go, you are free to go. They, when you miss me, they will smack you. Grade two teacher does this. I never knew she monitored my hand, my bag. All the, all the biro, the abano on my table, I packed everything, I put this hand in my bag and went back home with it. When I got home, my mom said, for the first time, let me see your bag. She poured out, emptied the bag. She, I never knew she wrote my name and put inside the pen she got for me. Ah! She put inside the pen she got for me. And when I came back home, she poured it out and checked. She said, Daniel, this biro is yours. This book is yours. This barrel is not your own. This barrel is not your own. Where did you get this barrel from? I said, I saw it on the table. I said, okay, I'm coming. She went inside, brought him. Flogged me, flogged me the following day. He said, I should go back to the class and start asking for who has this pen? Who has this pen? Who has this pen? Who has this pen? Until I gave it out. What did that teach me? When they say, bram, 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 closing time. Somebody will tell you, check your bag. 
I will pour my bag out. This is my own. This is my own. This is not my own. I'll leave it. Carry my bag home. When I got to, she will check. Say, good. Good. Today, those days, I thought my mom hated me. I thought my dad hated me. I never knew they were putting something in me that brought me today. So therefore, if you are the type your mom is flogging for people every time, it's not hatred. She wants the best for you. So therefore, monitor this child. When he's coming back from school, know what you are giving him to school. Because Satan does not attack people that don't have destiny. When he's going to school, know what you gave him to go to school, know what you did not give to him. When he comes out with one that doesn't belong to him, flog hell out of him. Tell him to return it back. By so doing, you will guide the promise of God in this child to come out. Otherwise, on the last day, God will blame you. And you know, you tell me you are the father because you know what you did to her that brought about this. That's why you say you are the father. <laughs> Before God, you are not the father. You can't father this child. You are a caretaker. A foster. Yes. How do I mean? A caretaker is somebody who knows that I'm accountable to somebody. I'm meant to take care of this and report to somebody. God is a father. So therefore, take this child. Take care of this child in a way that God will give you pass mark. Yes. Are you there? Yes, sir. Uh -huh. So that is it. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So what do you have to say? Your wife has said it all. Okay. What advice do you have for women and uh, concerning what God can do? Uh -huh. My first advice is that where a home where there is peace, the Satan cannot penetrate. Because I remember when my husband woke me up, I didn't sleep throughout the night. I was very tired. I wanted to sleep, but he said, We are going to Eloni Church. I didn't argue with him. I followed him that year, and God touched me. So I want all the women, we, want, we have to be on one accord at home so that the devil cannot penetrate into our home. Clap for Jesus Christ. One accord, husband and wife. And point of correction, if you did not come to Elohim ministry, there is another bigger ministry, other bigger ministries God will also direct you to. You even receive greater than what you receive in Elohim ministry. We are part of the same body of Christ. That is why we have to understand this. We are one in Christ. Whether this church or that church or this church, we are one. It's like somebody going to London. You can go through a stopover in, a, in that place to get to a different route, but you are still going to London. The way you get to London, it does not matter. But are you in London? Yes, I'm in London. Yes. Destination is salvation. Where you get to kingdom of God does not matter. Once we know this, there will be peace in every denomination. We are one. We are one. We are one. We are one. So that is it. Two, God says I should tell you. Let me give you one tactics my father used on his children, especially me, this boy. Because then I thought maybe my mom hated me, my dad hated me. Now I knew that they were, God was using them to. I know there must have been a revelation. Guide this boy, there's something in him. Guide this boy, there's something in him. Anytime five of us misbehave, my own, if they give the others five, 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 they'll give me 12. They will flog hell out of me. Anytime I'm moving, I come back home. My dad, if my dad sees me with a friend, a boy, he wants to know the background of that boy. My father will do fine things to go and know who is the father of this boy you are following, who is the mother of this boy you are following. If you realize that this boy does not have a good background, people fight in their home, the boy is a smoker, he's a drunkard, he will call me and tell me, don't follow this boy anymore. And before he tell me, don't follow the boy, what will you do? Let me give you the example of what my dad normally do. Give me this. Let's assume this is, look, let me, let's assume this is money to go and buy something. This money, look at what he does. Come and hold this mic. Can somebody hold this mic? A very big cane is at the back. Say, so Daniel, uh, hey, uh, that mic we used yesterday, how much was it? Uh, five, five, five naira. Okay, five naira. Ah, and the way you, you, the way you bought it, I like it. It will make you not suspect anything. You don't want to know what is putting behind him. I like it. So quickly go and buy me that make take. You went, you are grabbing the, the come, come, sir, we do respect. Ask if you want to collect this from me. Oui, oui, oui. He will not tell me what I've done. He will not tell me what I've done. He will flog me, flog me, and make sure that there are bruises on my back. He will not tell me, this boy you were following, don't you know he's a smoker? Do I smoke? I say no. If I see you with that boy again, I will kill you. Not that he will kill me. But you want that fear to be with me, not to follow that kind of person. But today, 
your boy came back with somebody because he came with money. You welcome, you start doing party for the boy that came with money to follow your son. You don't know where else he got the money. You saw somebody that followed your son because he's a rich man's son. He don't care to know about the character the boy is putting to follow your son. Many have lost their children to wayward character because of this. Because of greediness, what to eat. Because of what to eat, you have sold your integrity as a father. Because of what to eat, you have sold your integrity as a mother. That's why your children are wayward today. There are some children that are vowing, if I had had a good mother, I wouldn't have lived a wayward life. If I had a good father, I would have lived a wayward life. Don't allow your children to curse your grave when you die, as a father, as a mother. There are some children today, when they move close to their grave, they say, God, you will die a hundred times because this life I'm living, you are the one that put me there. Why there are some children, when they pass by the grave of their mother or their father, they say, God bless you for having me as a son. Thank you for training me. Let your children pass this message to you as a father. Let your children pass this message to you as a mother. You that is fighting your husband, fighting your wife. You don't know that what the kind of foundation you are laying in the life of these children. How would you feel that you're 60 years old, your wife, your daughter, and the husband are not together? Who will bury you when you die? How would you feel when your son is a wayward son, smoking in their hem, going to party, living a wayward life, and you are 70 years old? When you die, who will bury you? Think about this and come back home and settle your home for the sake of your old age. Law of beneficial return is very important in a family. At this age, he cannot take care of himself. It's your duty to take care of him. When you get to 70, he will take over. That's law of beneficial return. A well-trained child will not want to see the mother suffer, will not want to see the father suffer because he knew what they did for him before he got to that age. But I say, we were child. Even when the father is dying, he said, oh, God, die. Die hundred times. In their hand is in the mouth. Tobacco is in the brain. May the Lord help us. Thank you. Your, your kids are giving us a message. Thank you. Thank you. What do you want to say in a nutshell? Hello. Uh, my name is Alade Timabiola. I'm from Mondo State, but I reside in Abuja. So we came here. We're very new. And she is in pregnancy of my son. So it's getting, though before we even have pregnancy of the baby, I've heard so much from man, not God. They've talked so much, so much about the pregnancy. I should be very careful. I should do this. I should do that. So without even having the pregnancy, I'm scared because I love my wife and I don't want anything to wrong with her. Clap for Jesus Christ. I like that language. I love my wife. I don't want anything to happen to her. Wow. Wow, thank you. Mm -hmm. So, in the process, we had a due time. So, whenever she came back, she cried. Like, even he said, the doctor said, This baby is already ripe. That I don't even know what's wrong with you. You baby just come out. So, that's then I start feeling like I've heard so much about this pregnancy. I hope it's not what I'm thinking. Wait, they are God. So, I told my mom. My mom said, You've been in synagogue for so many times. You know what you did before you get there. And you have quite many at the backyard of your house there. Search for it. So, I'm not that kind of person that have so much patience. So, I'll get to the Nikon Lottery. We were told to come to another place again. So, I was like, well, I don't have a choice. Let's just search for it. Like, God is just controlling us to go to the right place. So, I'll get in here. Instantly, the one of the usher told us about the paid material. So, instantly, I rushed there first then after okay praying, when you now sit inside elohim church what happened because i can see the way you are speaking your english has changed your accent has changed because you are the father of emmanuel mm. <laughs> you want us to be jealous uh -huh. so uh, getting there so they were asked to pray to shout, shout uh, elohim so we were do both doing that so to my surprise i saw her fell onto the anointing of God. I was like, instantly I said, thank God. Nothing anymore. So, The fear uh, was gone. Everything. So, and I'm very sure at the moment you see a hair, I will soon be a father. I will soon be a father. <laughs> so getting on, we pray again with the faith materials. The second day, when we get to the hospital, a lot of things happen. 
a lot. Like, previous time of, like, God said, I am God, I will show you. Even though I have perfect everything, but I will show you some of signs, which I see so much. When I get to the hospital, my car lock. Every, all the load in the car, I card, were locked inside and my car was working and we locked inside it. So I have to call one of the security at the hospital, like, I have to break one of the car, one of the glasses at the back to get the load out. So a lot of it like that. So, but at the end of the day, we praise the Lord that we have the son. You have Emmanuel. Say, say it. So with that, we have Emmanuel. And also name him Iyanolua because he's ah, a miracle. Wonder of God. God, God is great. Now, we thank God we rejoice with you for what he has done. And what word of advice do you have for men and marriage in general? Advice. Yeah, advice I have for the... the, the I'm, I can't say I'm perfect in front of the God, but this time when I see the trouble is going to swallow me, I run to God. Mm. Because I see that's the only way I can side the pollution. Mm. Love for Jesus Christ. When your trouble wants to swallow you, see the way he did his hand, Father of Emmanuel. When the trouble wants to swallow you, you run to God. <laughs> this man, eh? Watch me. Though I'm not perfect. But when my trouble wanted to swallow me, Want to swallow me? I run to God. <laughs> Baba Emmanuel. Congratulations. Thank you. 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 We we'll just with you. Thank you. Thank you. So please help me take care of this baby, please. It's it's please it's your promise of God. Take care of the baby. Thank you. Thank you. Choristers, give us a wonderful song. Hey, before you go, please. I want to dance with uh, Emmanuel. Please. I'm sorry. Please. Very important. Let me dance with Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Ah. <laughs> uh, so that to be in record, when you become, when you become great, to be in record that wise man does with him. <laughs> please, please. The things that are impossible, the things that money cannot buy, they are the things he has done for me. What my father cannot do, what my mother cannot do, he has done it again and again. What a marvelous God. What a